Yo, what's going on guys? Benny Burks here and welcome back for another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my custom Lego Super Mario The Water World Expansion Set. If you go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe down below. It's 100% free. You can always change your mind later. Also, big shout out to this subscriber for having such an amazing Lego Super Mario custom idea. And if you guys want to be shouted out in one of my future videos, make sure to do two things. First, make sure you subscribe. That's the most important step. And second, make sure you comment down below your ideas for future LEGO Super Mario sets or LEGO Super Mario expansion sets or power packs or just whatever you have in mind. Alright, with all that stuff out of the way, I hope you guys do end up enjoying today's video. I spent a lot of time and a lot of effort on this one. And let's just get right into the characters. Okay, so the first character that we're going to be taking a look at is Wendy Koopa. This character's design is very, very awesome in my opinion. I really like how it turned out. It comes with three custom prints, the first one being the belly area. You can see that one has like her little cool red necklace, so that's a pretty nice detail. The next is her mouth and nose area. Her nose is just like any of the other Koopalings, but her mouth is very, very special. It was pretty hard to design, I actually put a little bit of a lighter shadow on top of the mouth area and also a darker one on the bottom to make it kind of look a little more 3D. And the last print is the eyes. Now the eyes I also really like. I think it looks pretty official and pretty well done. She has some little eyelashes and just her eyebrows swooping down making her look a little more angry. She also has a little bow design on top of her head. That's just made up of a few different plates and some sloping bricks as well. She also has two accessories. One is her ring. Now she wears two rings over her wrists but I didn't know how to translate that into Lego well. So I just decided to have that be an accessory for her. And her second accessory is her purple staff. Okay, so the next character that we're gonna be taking a look at in this set is the Porky Puffer. This character actually comes with two custom prints. One is for his lips. It is very simple. The character has very big pink lips. So I just had the same flat tile that's used for all the couplings, but pink, and then just had like one little tiny line representing the mouth. It's a very simple print, but it works very nicely. The second print for his eyes, I think I could have done the eyes a little better, I don't know. Made them a little closer together, but uh, the eyes are just two circles and with the little dashes for the eyes, just like the character in game has. The character also has spikes all throughout his body, which is pretty cool. The character also has some fins on the sides of his body. Those are really small and you can barely see them because for some reason my render blended the whites very nicely. <laughs> but yeah, they're right beside his mouth. Around the back of the Porky Buffer, there's actually an interactive Mario tile so Mario can interact with this character. There's also a little tiny fish fin, so yeah. This character is honestly pretty cool. In the Super Mario Bros. Wii games, this character acts sort of like a mini boss in World 4. You can see how this character actually interacts with the set when I get further into the build. But for the meantime, let's just move on to the next character. So the next character in this set is actually Hucket Crab. Hucket Crab is the same one that comes in series two for the uh, like Lego Super Mario collectible minifigure series. This character has one print just for his little face poking out of his shell. This character comes with a lot of different flat tiles, most of them being two by two red flat tiles. But the one on top of his shell is just a one by one flat tile that kind of makes up like the cone shape of his whole cone thing or like his, his crab shell or whatever. It looks very accurate to the game. He also has like a little arm build that reaches out from his side. I really like the design for that build. It uses a bunch of different sloping pieces. Also uses a modified one by one circle piece and it kind of just builds off from there. This character also uses the Lego Mario legs in that nice yellow, which I really like. That's pretty much it for this character. Let's move on to the next. The next character in this set is Urchin. This character came in series one of Lego Mario. The design for this character is pretty cool. And if this set were to release at any time it would be kind of cool to get another urchin build if you missed it in series one so yeah the build for urchin uses a bunch of different spikes the same spikes that were on the porky puffer his mouth design uses just a one by one stamp piece but just kind of inverted so it looks like his little circle mouth thing he also uses one print for his eyes it's the same print that comes in the mario series the build for him is very simple and he also has a interactive mario tile on the back of him all right and with all the characters out of the way, I say we move on to the builds in this set. 
So the build for this set is the exact same design as the map in New Super Mario Bros. Wii for World 4, or also known as the Water World. So let's just start off looking at these builds from left to right, or I guess it would be down to up. <laughs> anyway, so the first build in this set is kind of like this nice little island area. You can see there's a bunch of different flowers. There's a white flower, a pink flower, and also a yellow flower. The builds aren't that big, or they don't stand that tall. How I designed the islands is I actually use Mario. Mario circle 4x4 tiles and I just put little tiny regular plates in between them so they don't stand high off the ground at all you can see there's also a tan plate that connects the two first islands there's also just like a little tiny waterway that connects the other island Ooh, and let's focus on that palm tree these palm tree builds are kind of spread out throughout the map I really like the design for this this design I came up myself it uses a bunch of different cone pieces or like these nice little bulky pieces to make up like this nice palm tree and the palm tree is like this gray which I really like as well. And then you can see uh, it just uses a special brick piece to have all of these nice green bows come off of it. There's also flat tiles on the tip of them just to kind of make it look more like leaves. I really like the design for this. Anyways, let's move on to the first little mini boss area. So this area is pretty interesting. It's kind of where you find uh, your fight with the Porky Puffer. You can see there's a lot of different flat tile bow pieces in this set that kind of just make up like the rocky walkways. The first one goes up from the island to this nice little wharf or like pier or like dock area. That's actually where you fight the Porky Pupper. He kind of just chills in the water in game and then he like comes up and splashes your enemy. If that doesn't work for you, I also added a little tiny place. If you go to the left of the pier and then you go up that little walkway, you can see there's actually a little sand dune area. You can put the Porky Pupper in there if you don't want to have him be in the water. And Mario can like kick him out and then step on his interactive Mario tile. I really like that feature. That's actually supposed to be like a level in game, but I actually manipulated it. So it would be used as a little holding dock for the Porky Pup. Anyways, instead of going left, if you go right, you actually reach this island area, and that's actually where you can find the Hucket Crab. This island area has a bunch of different uh, types of stars, just kind of for foliage on the ground. You can also see another palm tree build over there with all the upside down cones and stuff. I'm not gonna tell you how I built that because they're identical. <laughs> There's a little sand hill that you can just stand your Hucket Crab on, which is pretty simple. And to the left of that, you can see it goes and actually merges with the other way. And then if if you go straight from there, you can see the first castle. This castle is the same design as my Cloud World set and also my Frozen World set. All the castles are the same in all the sets. It just has that nice consistency to it with all of the special bricks and stuff. You can't actually open the door, which is kind of whatever. Wendy can just stand on top and just kind of chill up there. And Mario can kind of just come along and kick her off. Anyways, moving on from there, we go to the right and we see like this little bush design, which I really like. That actually is taken from the Lego Ninjago City Gardens from a little back. They have this nice bush build and there's a lot of those bushes in the game. So yeah, I just included it on the little piece of land. Moving up, we have the walkways. There's just like a little side build with the palm tree, which I really like. Going to the right of that, you can see there's another little island area with a little flower, which is pink. You go straight from there and you reach your purple castle. Before we dive into the purple castle though, I want to focus on if you go left. If you go left, you go through the a little walkway and you actually meet your urchin that's just sitting on kind of the same design as what he came in with the collectible minifigure series to the left of that though you can see there's a little island that's kind of just for display and for connecting to other expansion sets okay now the purple castle the purple castle is the same design as all the other ones you can fit wendy koopa on the back of it she can kind of just stand there and you can get mario and like kick her off and stuff there's also like a little sand slope tile up to the door the door doesn't actually open just like the other one i really like the design for all the castles in this set. Oh yeah, and also to the right of it, there's another one of those little flowers with the clouds coming out of it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. Let's move on to the box. Okay, so the box for the set is fairly simple. You can see it comes with 676 pieces, four buildable figures, and this is actually classified as an expansion set, not a maker set. The set number doesn't matter because I made it up. <laughs> and the box is very long, kind of like all of my other box sizes for these custom world sets. Anyways, yeah, let's move on to my final thoughts. Anyways, my final thoughts on this set is the characters are very good. I like to see Wendy, which is actually like the last Koopa design I made. I also like to see another Hucket Crab. That's kind of cool to get. Hucket Crab was one of my favorites in the collectible minifigure series too. And also I like to see another Urchin, which is kind of cool. 
The Porky Puffer is alright as well, and for four characters, I mean, it's pretty cool. The build for the set is also pretty good as well. Uh, I like to get more of those castle designs. Those are pretty cool. I love the palm tree design as well. Anyways, what do you guys think about this set? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And remember, when you pour cereal in your bowl, pour the cereal first and then the milk. Okay, bye.